are you at right now physically? Like, how much are you able to do? Um, right now, um, I can do some contact, um, one-on-ones, two-on-twos, three-on-threes, pretty much everything. It's just, um, you know, just still getting stronger and, um, you know, being able to move, you know, the way I um, did before. So I'm pretty much, you know, there, just um, got to keep pushing. Aside from the injuries, how would you assess this season for you? Um, you know, pretty good. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, I got hurt, but um, the time that I was playing, I think I did pretty good uh, for my second um, season. Um, you know, just got to, you know, learn a bit more. So going into the off season, you know, just going to work on the things that um, I see need improvement from film and everything. So um, I'd say my pace, um, playmaking still, um, you know, finding teammates on the court, um, you know, just getting stronger um, and working on my body so I can defend. Um, and then just hitting shots, making shots, so, you know, working on those things. Is it pretty disappointing that you lost so much time growing with Scoot as part of the point of the season's development and you won't play, I don't know how many games are playing, not that many? Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, I want to play with them. Um, you know, he's a great teammate. I want to play with all the guys for real. Um, but like I said, it's, you know, unfortunate that I got injured. Um, so, you know, hopefully in the off season we can, you know, link up and, um, work out together just, you know, to build that chemistry back up. Um, but, you know, we'll see for, you know, next season. Do you know anything yet about whether you're going to be doing anything with the national team this summer? Um, no, not yet. I don't know. I'm not pretty sure. Um, you know, I figure I just talk to my family about it, coaches, trainers, um, you know, and just see um, what I want to do. But as of right now, I don't know yet. So. How have you kept yourself kind of just busy throughout this just not playing, but well, what's it been like for you throughout this whole process? Just keep trying to keep yourself busy on that. You'll get there eventually. I mean, this process, getting injured and, you know, not playing um, the game you love to play is hard. Um, but, you know, I've been occupying my time by just, you know, trying to get my body right and um, doing everything I can to, you know, get back where I was before. Um, so really just doing that for real. you remember the last time you were, had an injury like this where you were out for – uh, yeah, I'd probably say, um, you know, when I was a little younger, playing football broke my leg, some time off, so. Shaden, last year at this time, uh, when you were up there, you, you said that you wanted to be a starter going into the next season. Have you thought at all about what you would like to see from yourself going into your third season? Uh, I'd say just being a starter again, um, like I said before, um, and just being the guy that, you know, can help the team win. Uh, compete at a high level and, you know, just get all my teammates involved. Um, so, yeah. What specifically can you take from this season that you can apply this summer and grow into next year? I mean, for the games that I played, I'd probably say, um, like I said before, my pace, um, you know, shot creating and, you know, just getting my teammates involved. Um, so, these last games or, you know, the time being sitting out, um, I've watched, you know, players I, I used to look up to and kind of, you know, study them while they're playing and, you know, see what I can, um, you know, take from them and apply to my game. So that's really what I've been doing, sitting on the bench, cheering my teammates on, just watching other guys and seeing what I can do to apply. What, what specifically do you think you can, you've, you've seen from other guys or from, from watching film that you can apply to your game? I mean, I just say how they approach the game. Um, you know, how they you know, get to their spots and find their shots um, and how they get their teammates involved and, you know, compete at a high level. Which so, guys have you been watching? Um, um, you know, KD, uh, Jamal Murray, um, really just the guys that play in my position. When you think about uh, Delano this season, he came in from Canada, um, came in mid-season and just – What's been his thoughts on, the, on him coming in midseason and showing sort of that he can sort of play more in an extended role? <laughs> yeah, then I know he's he's cool as my guy right there. Um, you know, he really sees the floor. Um, he's like what six eight, so you know he's a tall guard that um, can shoot over you know defenders and you know like I said, he sees the floor, so he gets teammates involved and um, you know he just competes at a high level and you know wants to always win. So. Um, I mean, plus he's you know a great teammate off the court. 
You know, he's 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 one of the guys that you know everybody you know likes on the team, and it's easy to talk to. So, um, no, he's cool. Shane, how have you seen you grown as a, as a person this year? Um, you know, you came to Portland, and you know, you're a 19 year old, you're 20 now, you're almost 21. Like, from a off court perspective, how would you say you you've matured this season? Um, you know, just interacting with fans and. Um, you know, just being more vocal to fans and, um, you know, really just, you know, embracing Portland um, as a whole and, you know, just seeing, like, you know, what Portland is, is like, for real. Um, I mean, it's kind of almost like me being back home, so it was it was easy for me to, you know, adjust and um, get used to Portland. Shay, you mentioned guys that you've been watching, you know, look, KD. Jamal, <laughs> this season you had the opportunity to kind of be more on ball your rookie year. You you were primarily played off ball going into year three. What do you kind of see as far as how your game is progressing the early years in your career? Kind of what what have you? Do you think you've kind of found a path of where you're going to be able to carve that out? Um, yeah, I feel like you know just things that I've done um, this year and and last year. I feel like that kind of paves the the pathway of um, where I'm going, just, you know, mid-range shots, um, you know, layups and threes and getting my teammates involved. So, 